Hello everyone, welcome to English Wall and this is Jafar Bia before you today and today I have got Arif Bhai. I is it's already made already already he helps me to make two videos that I did. One was uh, for the speaking part one, another one that I did with him that was all about the speaking part two. And the same thing today I'm going to do actually and that's gonna be the ALS Q card. Today we most important Q card. last week in Canada and topic describe a place where you like to read or write which is not at your house. It is a Q card tab and a follow-up question. So, we have a follow-up question. What is the place? How frequently do you visit it? And why do you like it? This is a follow-up question. So, today we have a video to launch. So, 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 we have a video to And you can just like follow my videos to give your answers in a potential way actually right okay so amra je kaaj ta korbo ekhon shuru kori so etu khyal rakhben uni hocche answer gulo kibhabe kore and hocche amra ekhane overall kon kon bishoy gulo kore and one thing is that please jara amader channel e notun achen obosshoi amader channel subscribe korben ebong obosshoi beshi beshi kore share korben so that i can make so many videos for all of you right okay guys so amra ekhon start korbo let's let's see so your topic is going to be describe a place where you like to read or write which is not at your home and please say what is the place how frequently do you visit it and why do you like it so you have one minute to prepare yourself if you want you can take some notes here is your paper and pencil here Well, uh, well, Arifa, your time is over. So, can you start, please? Yeah, sure. So uh, for Thank providing you, me this cue card, and my topic is about a place where I usually like to read and write uh, besides my home. Uh, frankly speaking, in my entire life, I have got so many opportunities to study and read in different places uh, in different times. But today, I would like to talk about a very special place where I usually go the four to five times a week which is none other than but one of the best place i like ever is my university library as a matter of fact that uh, i would like to, at the very beginning outset of my speech i would like to mention that it's very neat and clean and quite silent uh, in this dhaka city if you go ever visit a different kind of places you will see a lot of people are hassling outside and traffic jam a lot of sound pollution as well as uh, different kind of problems outside there so i usually prefer to go to my university library as it is a very neat and clean and quite calm place and very silent as well it's the best place to study alone and another reason i love to go there because it's very interesting to meet with my friends and there is a place for a discussion so we usually couple of friends meet together over there mm -hmm. and we do some kind of thesis and research paper together as it is a good place for a study no one will ever disturb you over there and most important thing is that i would like to mention that all the international books and domestic books are available in the library if you go different kind of public places it also it also clumsy i think uh, some people are gathering there so i don't usually go there it's also a best place i i, I don't have any complaint about that but i do prefer to go my university university library as it is the best time to meet with my friends at any time i go there because whenever we get a free time we also we also find some international books as we get to know some international writer over there so to make our topic topic more reliable and necessary importance we also give some references and we also some we also use some kind of uh, writing column from the international scholars also the most important aspect is that the library is a there is a place for discussion so so whenever uh, our teacher give us any kind of any sort of research and thesis paper we just usually go to the library and we find some kind of international books over there and we do research and we research on that as it is the best place to to study the last but not least I would like to mention that 
uh, these places are very very calm and quiet and i love to visit there uh, again and again as it gives me much pleasure when i get a free time i go there i love this place very much and i i didn't go uh, any places which is very more more silent than this place so that's why this place also influenced me a lot and thank you so much this all okay. uh well thank you so much everybody for your performance here well uh okay guys so this is the performance that I got from Dariva actually. So guys, what you have to do, you need to give your answers the way he did here. And if I go for the marking for this speech, and that's gonna be overall 7.5. Because if you can speak like this, that's for sure that you will get like 7.5 in our speaking test. One more point is that those who are going to sit for the our speaking test, you must remember that you need to perform very well in your speaking part 2 because speaking part 2 carries 50% of the mark of the speaking test out of the 100%. So remember that you must perform very well in the speaking part 2 rather than your part 1 and 3 because there are some students who usually get so much audit about the speaking part 1 and 3 but I must say you that Please focus on your speaking part 2 because it carries more mark. So dear viewers, that's all for today and see you in the next videos. Until then, be happy. Allah Hafiz. Good luck.